हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू ऑनलाइन क्लासेस विद शहनाज मैम वंस अगेन यू आर हियर विथ मी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू थर्ड चैप्टर ऑफ योर इंग्लिश रीडर एज यूजल आई वॉन्ट टू से द थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आर फर्स्ट वन इज लाइक द वीडियो सेकेंड वन इज शेयर द वीडियो विथ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड एट लास्ट ऑफकोर्स सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो यू विल गेट ऑल माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो नोटिफिकेशन In this chapter you will read about two children Varun and Jaya who are going on a jungle safari with their parents. So what are the names of the children here? Varun and Jaya with whom they are going? They are going with their parents. Okay. So the name of the chapter is a day in the jungle. Jungle. What is the meaning of jungle? Jungle means forest and forest means it is a place where wild animals and birds live together. so here some pictures are given on your page first page page number 18 and a help box is also given to you you will write the name of the animals which is given here and you will do it yourself so we will move on towards our chapter so in the first paragraph the children were very excited so why they were excited yes because they were going on a jungle safari so what they did so uh, they walk up early in the morning with the chirping of birds they got ready themselves and they had taken their seats in the jeep so this was the first time when they are going to visit the jungle with their parents and they also have a forest guide who will accompany them who will accompany them means who will give company to all these family members okay so students why the children were excited here so because they were going somewhere to visit a safari okay so here students uh, you also have observed when you are going to visit your grandparents cousins or when we are going to visit zoo any city for holidays so what happens how do you feel are you excited to go what is your reaction are you curious yes of course what will you do will you wake up early will you get up ready to occupy the seat in the car or in jeep so the same thing is happening in this story also with the, uh, both jaya and varun so here guide said welcome to mukta wildlife sanctuary so what is the name of the wildlife sanctuary is given here so the name of it is mukta so mukta wildlife sanctuary is given here so they were going to mukta wildlife sanctuary so here guide also said them you will see lots of animals or birds here if you are lucky then you also can see a tiger okay so on the way when they move on towards the mukta wildlife sanctuary they have seen a porcupine so what is the meaning of porcupine porcupine is a animal is an animal so you can see here in the picture that porcupine so it bristles it quills it bristles it quills means stood upright so uh, the quills it has quills on its body so it is stood upright so thin sharp spines on a porcupine's body so jaya pointed to the spines so which is the you can see here no spines are there uh, in its body so jaya pointed out it and those look like they would really hurt so jaya thought that it looks like that it has some many kinds of needles on its body or if somebody will try to catch it or somebody will try to hurt it so they themselves can get hurt here okay so they move on towards the canopy so what is the meaning of canopy here which is uh, highlighted with the red uh, word so here canopy means it is a tree and gentle bumps on the road so that is canopy means branches and leaves of trees that form a cover high above the ground so you have observed when we are going uh, we, when we are looking jungle and on television no so there we can see lots of tall trees are there which is uh, covered the path or road so they also have seen the same thing here now on the way what they have spotted so they have spotted deer so deer were very cross deer were crossing the road so when they went closer the deer seem to have disappeared so as they have went closer to deer so deer have disappeared disappeared means uh, uh, disappeared means that we can say to vanish gayab 
so where did they go asked varun so varun asked so suddenly uh, immediately where they all are disappeared so what guide said here they are camouflaged camouflaged means here the animals have such kind of sense or uh, when they have some danger danger sense no so they are feeling some kind of sense of danger so they are changing the color of their body according to their surrounding so you have seen chameleon in your society or in your school no so uh, chameleon chameleon has a speciality that it can change its color when uh, it is in danger if it is in leaves green leaf so it can change its color in green leaves if it is in trunk of a tree so it can change its color into brown so it has a speciality there so camouflage means when the animals uh, sense some danger so they can change their pattern on their body so they can change their color or even patterns also so they can merge with their surroundings okay so it is very difficult to find out where the animal had hid, hidden themselves okay so as they have move on towards their uh, way so what he said that you cannot see the spotted deer because its brown skin and white spot have merged with the trunk of the trees so guide said that because of its uh, merge he it has merged uh, its color with the surrounding so we cannot see so meaning of merge is also given in this box you can see here okay so the guide was looking through his binoculars so binoculars means what so binocular is an instrument with the help of it we can see the things which is very far away from us so when he was looking the uh, uh, far away from its binocular he was froze he froze so froze is here past tense of freeze so you have read in the first lesson that it was uh, ice was frozen outside or ice was freeze on the lake so it is past tense of freeze so he was not moving it was uh, he was just standing and looking continuously at one place so he pointed to a tree he pointed a tree means he point out something towards the tree that something is there then he said in a low voice a leopard so and it has a kill on the tree so he also said to varun and jaya and to their parents that there is a leopard on the tree and it has a kill it has a kill means that it ha it had killed a animal and it is eating there so everyone looked there with the binocular of the guide one, one by one so they have seen with the help of binocular to the leopard how he is sitting on the tree and how he is eating its prey prey means that the food which he has uh, killed or he has captured okay so here varun asked what is the kill so kill is the animal which is killed by leopard okay so uh, students here he said that he is sitting on the tree because nobody that nobody means that tiger or hyenas cannot take its a uh, kill animal to eat means there he can eat silently their its own food so mother also said here climbing a tree is a special ability of a leopard so you have seen uh, on television or on jungle channels also that discovery channels or animal planets that a lion and a tiger they cannot climb on a tree so why they cannot climb on a tree so yes they cannot climb on a tree because of the size of their body or they are heavy in weight because they are heavy in their weight and they don't have uh, that uh, uh, very frequently they cannot move on towards the tree as leopard can do so leopard has two qualities here because leopard has strong leg legs to go up and its strong tail also help the to uh, maintain uh, its balance on the branch of a tree okay so that is the reason that it can the uh, lion and a tiger cannot climb on a tree so you also know that they all belongs from a cat family that uh, a leopard and a lion lion and a tiger they belongs from a cat family okay so how many animals varun and jaya and their parents have seen here so yes correct they have seen first porcupine then then they have seen a deer 
a herd of deer then they have seen a leopard now what they have seen so as they have moved towards their way so they have seen the rhinosaurs rhinosaurs you know that uh, uh, rhinosaurs is also a wild animal which has a thick body its skin is too tough and it has a horn on its head so uh, uh, they had seen a rhinosaurs and a calf calf means meaning is given here the young one of a rhino so the baby of rhino is also called a calf here so they have seen a rhinos so here father had asked to children what special thing is about rhinosaurs so jaya said that rhinosaurs has a horn so yes beta it has a horn but father said here it is uh, just like a dagger so what is the meaning of dagger a small sword so father said here it has a small sword which is used to fight with the other animals when he is in danger so here when jaya has given answer father said uh, good to her now uh, what happened next so for guide said them to climb up the machan so machan means you have seen uh, in your cartoon uh, channels also that uh, machan means that a house is made up of on the branch of the trees so machan is here a place where uh, which is built or made on the branch of a tree so where the people can stand and they can see the view over the uh, jungle so here they all were uh, climbed on a machan and they watched from there so they have seen langurs on the tree tops langurs langurs means you know that it is also belongs to a monkey family no so langurs they have seen from the tree top there were many birds around too so they also have seen birds around there so then they drove further into the wood and approached a herd approached the meaning of approached means to arrive or to go to come on a place so then they move towards to their destination and they move towards woods and approached a herd woods w double o d o d s so w double o d s woods means it is also called a forest woods means also forest not that wood which is used to burn but it is also meaning uh, forest and approached a herd so uh, in a jungle there is a herd so it is very strange to hear no but it is a herd of a ranger who lives there okay so the guide asked the ranger any calls so he asked about uh, any calls what is any calls here so any calls is here he is talking about that the sound of a lion or of a tiger so he is uh, asking about any call there so what happened here what ranger said that ranger spoke for a while and he pointed out towards a place where the sound was coming so and what happened next animal sounds could be heard at a distance so the sound of an animal can be heard from a distance you also have observed when we are going towards uh, some places through jungle Uh, on our vehicle no so we have observed on a turning when we are passing through a jungle so we can see the sound of vehicle from far away so the same thing is here because jungle is a place where is quietness calmness is there so the voice of animals the sound of animals can could be easily heard so what happened next here so uh, here guide tells uh, that it is just like an alarm alarm means which is given by the other animals if other animals many animals are there no if they have sense danger by the uh, coming of a tiger or a lion so they are making different kinds of sounds because they want to uh, protect their lives so they are running here and there they scattered themselves to be safe from the uh, tiger so because forest was very quiet and they have seen some pug marks there so what is the meaning of pug marks so pug marks means they have not seen any kind of pug marks there so pug marks are here footprints of a tiger so the uh, forest was too quiet no noise was there and they had not seen any kind of pug marks there means footprint they have not seen so suddenly there was an alarm called by lang a langur followed by a sambar's bellow 
सो हियर बिट आर सांबर्स मीन्स दैट इट इज अ एनिमल अ डार्क ब्राउन डियर डार्क ब्राउन डियर विथ ब्रांचड एंटलर सो इट इज सांबर्स मीन्स इट विच हैज मीन्स यू हैव सीन दे आर हॉर्न्स आर हैविंग डिजाइन्स ऑन इट्स नो सो दैट इज द दैट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड द एंटलर सो दे आर वॉज सडनली अलार्म कॉल्ड बाय द लंगूर्स or sambars bellow means the sound of the sambars that the tiger was returning to its meal so it was the alarm that about the tiger that the tiger is coming for its meal to prey the all animals scattered there scattered means they all spread into different direction to hide themselves or to protect their lives then suddenly what they have seen they have seen there a tigress appeared along with her two adorable cubs adorable means too cute uh, means uh, cubs no that the baby of lion is too cute when they are too young so you have seen puppies no when puppy is young so it looks very cute and we want to play with it so same thing was here also a tigress a tigress appeared with two adorable cubs so children was was very excited children were very excitedly watched from a distance as the cub fed and frolicked the meaning of frolicked means played about happily so you know that uh, uh, the cubs are playing with uh, their mother so we also when we were very young still you are children you are too small so you are playing with your mother with your parents you are feeling very happiness that time so here what happened actually the tiger are known for that. so the guide said here guide explained to the children or their parents the tiger are known for their power and strength obviously that tiger are very powerful and they have energy they have ability you know so they, that is called strength they can even kill animals twice uh, bigger than their size so jaya th thought for a moment and she said that uh because she has observed different kinds of animals here no so she asked to her mother that animal uh, unlike animals human do not have fangs fangs claws or horns nor can be camouflage so she talked about all these qualities of different animals which they have seen here no fangs of porcupine claws of animals horns of animals and nor they have camouflage so our skin is also soft she said so how what is the special about the human being so here what mother smile and what she said mother mother said this we human have remarkable intelligence so humans are intelligent because they have brain to think god has made a human being just like that god has given brain to think um, human can do all things which is impossible on the earth so you also have noticed be human being have uh, made the forest clear for doing our uh, for making business for making agriculture land for factories and for many things so we human are having intelligence we are intelligent so with it not only can we protect ourselves with the help of this intelligence no we not only can protect ourselves but we can protect our animal friends also so uh, it is true that uh, if human beings are having intelligence then uh, animals are also having some special quality which is given by god so here all children that both children headed back happily they gave reply to mother happily and after that they came back from summer vacation here so this is the what we have read here in this chapter about a safari which uh, which was uh, described here by the writer in which jungle safari in this jungle safari uh, safari who went so jaya varun and their parents went on a jungle safari so what they had seen there they had seen different animals many of animals there so first they have seen porcupine a herd of deer a leopard rhinoceros with a cub they have seen then they also had seen that the alarm calls by, uh, by langur and followed by a sambars bello and at last they have spotted a tigress there with their with uh, her two cubs which was very adorable 
and jaya also asked about what special quality we human beings have here so mother said that we are intelligent so we cannot even uh, protect ourselves but we can protect other animals also so this is about uh, what the explanation about this lesson for this is um, so this is here we are going to wind up this chapter that's all for the day so please you go go through it and uh, uh, look at these videos so uh, have a nice day beta